All right, hi YouTube. This is Reenactor Talk. Uh, we're gonna try this again. Take six, believe it or not. Uh, thanks to my phone for stopping right at the ten minute mark. Last time I thought I had a perfect video. Uh, I'm not gonna take apart. Or I'm not gonna redo this forever. So maybe I'll get it all what in this video. If I can't, then uh, screw YouTube, right? Um, so I'm going to show you how to assemble these, and I'm not going to cut out another one. I'm just going to show you how to assemble one. I'm assuming you know how to use scissors. So basically, you're going to take your rubber cement, which is what's part of what you need. You're going to uh, glue one side first, or cement one side. Uh, this is kind of easy. You can lay it flat, have something kind of heavy on it to uh, press it down. Um, I'm sorry I had to take this apart. It was a better one, but uh, uh, I'm not doing this again. Uh, cutting stuff out. So while that's drying, I'm going to talk about the ration. Here is a uh, K ration dinner unit. Dinner unit is your lunch, basically. Um, you also have supper units. That's your evening meal. And you have B units, which is what this is, your breakfast. Uh, inside them, you're going to have cans that are going to be in this. This is a can insert. Mm, excuse me. The can inserts basically just protect everything else inside here. Uh, this is an outer box. There were inner boxes that were very simply labeled breakfast, dinner, and supper. So these are also outer boxes. Um, this is a morale box. The morale boxes had funky little um, neat and uh, designs on them like this. As you can see, um, they were also waxed inner and outer boxes. I don't have the facilities to wax them here. Uh, the gentleman I'm making these for is a friend of mine. He's actually going to wax them. And I'm actually making these for him um, because he's putting on an event and he wanted some battlefield trash and some stuff to give, uh, give some of the GIs. He's doing an immersion event. Um, so basically... Uh, these are made out of chipboard, if you're wondering. It's basically like a cardboard-ish. cardboard, cardboard -ish. It's kind of like a construction paper or a very rough um, card stock, but it's kind of sturdy. It's definitely not construction paper, but it kind of feels like it would. It's kind of hard to explain. Um, it's called chipboard. And uh, so, yeah. And... Um, all, all the um, different meals, they had different little designs on them. So the dinner usually had this type of design. It was usually blue. The supper was green. And your breakfast was, uh, it was red as far as the morale boxes go. And inside these, you would have, like I said, the can in the insert, which would be your kind of main meal um, for that particular meal. And you had accessories packets. Uh, the accessory packets had orangeade or lemonade. Um, basically, it's what we—it's what they call today battery acid. It's that powdered drink. Um, they got biscuits, which are basically uh, what we call crackers, or a—it's uh, a variant of hard tack, but it's not as hard. Um, there's two types of bis biscuits basically, and they're both square for the K ration. One of them is kind of like the uh, Captain's wafers, Keebler kind of rectangular ones. And uh, another one kind of is has been equated to looking like a graham cracker, uh, at least in thickness. Um, it has instructions for making the uh, lemonade and orange aid uh, confection, which is candy. Usually like a caramel, maybe charms. Um, although for those of you who are suspicious, um, you might not want the charms. Uh, four lumps of sugar, chewing gum, cigarettes, and matches. Uh, in an earlier video, I showed you how to make matchbooks. Um, they did come in here. I don't have what is needed to make a complete internals as far as edible stuff, but I do have um, the uh, inserts, obviously, for the cans. Um, but another thing you're going to do... Uh, oh, it came apart. Um, you're also going to want to score these, which is basically you take something flat like a spoon or, part, or the flat part of a knife and just... Press it down until it gets a nice fold. Uh, you do that, um, it'll keep the fold better. It'll keep its shape a little better. Um, and I'll, I'll probably just do a separate video on the history of the D-ration, or not the D-ration, my bad, uh, the K-ration, 
um, its replacement of the C ration, uh, what it was attempted to be replaced by, but never really was. Uh, they still had K rations by Korea. They still had C rations in Korea, and uh, many Vietnam veterans actually call a lot of their stuff C rations. Uh, at least from what I've read in accounts, although usually they just refer to uh, their food as rations. But I have heard the word C ration used a lot. Maybe that was just a holdover because their fathers had been in World War II. I don't know. But uh, I'm just going to kind of focus on the World War II aspect of it right now. And uh, one of the things is this is actually kind of hard to do because you got to get your fingers in here to uh, actually make this dry. Not to make it dry, but to um, get some pressure on it to basically... Um, Make sure the cement, the rubber cement, makes uh, good contact and it uh, holds well. Uh, this rubber cement's better than Elmer's glue, by the way. And this is made by Elmer's, but um, the uh, regular paper glue or super glue just doesn't work. It doesn't look the same. It'll, it'll, it'll make your stuff look like crap if you're trying to make these. Um, but I'm, I'm assuming you all know how to use scissors, so I'm not going to show you how I cut this out um, but I will say you do need an exacto knife for you know little cuts like that um, let me get a little closer so like right there you don't want to use scissors you kind of want to use an exacto knife uh, that's what they're good for um, and trimming stuff uh, my first video I didn't use it but I did have it just in case I needed to trim one of these uh, so my next video is actually going to be on something that you probably see in a 10 in one the uh, partial dinner unit and uh, as well as the uh, ready to eat cereal which you might also find in there I haven't seen them in K rations but uh, you know this is a learning process I mean this is a hobby so you're always learning um, that's basically it uh, here is the box finish this is the breakfast unit uh, outer box again uh, dinner unit, outer box, morale variant, morale. Um, so until next time, I will see you later.